one of the things that needs to be done before an alignment is attempted is making sure that we have a good rough alignment and soft foot. I personally like to do a rough alignment before I do soft foot just in case that the base is slightly warped or um, has some uneven uh, contact with the motor or pump then when we do a rough alignment it will be roughly sitting where um, we want it to be sitting so it will give us a bit more accurate uh, readings for soft foot. So to start a rough alignment take your straight edge and place it on the rim of one of the coupling halves. I'd like to point out that if you are using a straight edge you need to put it so it's resting only on one half not on both halves. Common mistake that people make is that they place it against both coupling halves and you end up getting a bit of a gap in two places and if you're pretty close it can be hard to decipher and see that small gap. So by holding it against one half of the coupling you can then see the gap on the opposite side. Then it's a good idea to take something like a shim and place it in between the gap so that you can see the amount that you need to move up on your uh, motor or other machine if you're doing a rough alignment. So I found a better example of how um, it can be so easy to misinterpret how the ruler is sitting on our coupling. If I was to hold the ruler on both halves, here it looks like it's resting pretty squarely on both. However, if I hold it just solely on this half of the coupling, you can see now that I've got just the tiniest little bit of space there showing to me that I do have misalignment, a little tiny bit of offset. Besides using a straight edge to do a rough alignment, we can also use a set of calipers like we have here. This is a set of inside calipers. So what I'm going to do on this coupling is measure the distance between the spaces here on the coupling and the spaces here. And if it's the same, then that tells me I have no angular misalignment. If it's different, that says that it could be shifted one way or the other. So I'm going to start actually on this side here. And I've already pre-measured this to get it just close. So it's just touching. Now if I come to this side, you can see that it doesn't really go in. We have a smaller gap on this side and a larger gap on this side. That set tells me that the shaft of the motor is sitting, the back end of the motor is sitting one way, kind of like this here. So we could then shift the motor so that the gap is the same on both sides then we know our angular misalignment is fairly close. We want our rough alignments to be within 10 thou typically. One thing you'll notice about this motor is that the motor feet is flat between each foot. So the base along the whole bottom of the motor touches the base plate of our uh, machine here. This is one reason why I like to do a rough alignment first so that if I had a high spot in the middle, I know that I'm not high centering my motor and causing uh, soft foot. So I'm going to do a rough alignment here and I'm going to put some shims under both corners to bring it up so that I know that it's resting only on the feet and not in the center as well. So here we're going to look at one of our motor feet. I'm going to check this motor foot for soft foot. Now I've tightened all the bolts that are holding the motor down to 20 foot pounds, making sure that the motor is nice and uh, evenly torqued using a torque wrench, not just a set of wrenches. Now I'm going to loosen one bolt at a time. Now taking the first thin feeler gauge, this in this example here is a one and a half thou feeler gauge. Um, I'm going to place it and see if I can slide it underneath the corner of these motor feet. Now the advantage of using a feeler gauge over a dial indicator is that we can check for angular soft foot. In this case I'm able to stick my one and a half thou feeler gauge so I'm going to go up to the next size and see if I can get a two thou or a three thou feeler gauge. You can start to get a two thou under there and the two thou slides way under on the inside of the foot. So I'll move over to a three. See how that works. 
Oh, the three starts to get a little tight there and it definitely doesn't go in on the outside of the foot. So once again you can see this is my two thou feeler gauge. It goes in quite far on the inside of the foot, but on the outside of the foot I can get it under just a little bit. And that's about where it stops. So to me this says that I've got a little bit of angular soft foot. The toe of my foot is down a little bit more than the inside of my foot. So if this I wanted to fix, if it was any more than one thou, I'd want to use a step shim, but in this case it's not too bad.